What's up everybody? This is Nomadix, and today I'm going to be playing some more Heroic Magic Duel. Uh, in the previous video, it didn't upload with sound. I'm not exactly sure why. It did have sound in the video. I tried to find it in my recordings, and uh, I guess I already deleted it. So let's try and do this again. Um, essentially, let's just run very briefly over everything about the game. There's different events. These events do rotate. There's only five. Uh, they're pretty fun. All of them are pretty enjoyable. Last Hero Standing is probably my favorite, but I might be a little over, uh, like, bigger than my britches right now just because I'm too high-ranked in ladder, and it's making these Last Hero Standing games pretty much impossible. Anyways, um, these are the books. So there's a campaign that you can play through. You get rewards as you play through it. It's probably beneficial for you if you're new to the game to go ahead and do that. There's also this little Tower of Ascension. It resets every month with every new season. Um, so basically, you can pick a, a plot line and kind of get extra abilities uh, on top of it. So if you have a plan like, hey, I'm going to get this one, then you can just solely focus on this one field and try and do it that way. But it's pretty cool. I do like it. it this is different than the last one, so I don't know how often it changes or if there's a rotation of like every three months or something like that. Or if it changes every time, but it's pretty pretty cool so far. Um, there are guilds, obviously, training grounds. There's tons of quests and missions that you can do. There's tons of currency in this game. I can't even keep track of all of it. Everything is upgradable. Uh, there's five heroes, so there's five leaders. Each leader has five spells. You get to select two. There's artifacts that can be leveled up. There's... Characters that can be leveled up. There's just tons of stuff that can be basically everything can be leveled in this game So let's just hop into a match because I will drone on forever and ever about this I am just gonna play one game. I'm probably gonna get demolished since I am relatively high ranked right now and I just you know with a level 2 hero when you're playing against someone with like a level 8 hero It's kind of uh, not super fair. There is no leader control in this game. So you're not gonna have any leader control aspects, but cards do have abilities. There's three, three separate lanes. You want to make sure that you're uh, keeping board control in order to win. So I have been having a lot of fun with this game. Uh, even though I do prefer leader control games, I pretty much already maxed out in uh, all the leader control games. I shouldn't say maxed out. Obviously, my cards could be could be better, but I uh, I just don't feel like playing those games right now so that's just the honest truth let's go ahead and drop this so he's got it even shows you at the top right it shows you the two spells that they have rocking so that is annoying but thankfully i have another counter for it so we are still good okay well that's gonna be a freeze and a half i might just do this too whatever you're dead um let's go ahead and play this in this lane Let's see, what is my next card? Eesh. That is bad. I'm just gonna play this back. Just because it's pretty annoying. Uh, so how about I freeze and then pop up? Yeah. Good enough, good enough. Definitely gonna have to use my ability once it... I have to kill that top guy. He's super fucking annoying. Cannot stand him. Well, he's probably going to block this very quickly. If he doesn't, that's great. Yeah, so he probably didn't know that I was running it. Because of that, I was able to take advantage of the situation. Definitely going to rock me there, but... Should be fine. I'll play this. Let that get a little bit closer and then freeze. That way I can do some serious damage to it. Come on. Got to get a little bit closer. Okay, that is really annoying. I've just got to get on him. If I can get up to him, then we're good. But I see I don't have that card, so it's pretty difficult to uh, freeze that. 
This way I can at least kill them both. Uh, I am going to have to do this, as much as I don't enjoy that. I was hoping I could use that to kill the top guy. I don't think he has any counter to this, so it should be fine. And this should be good. I can go ahead and take the problem out. Definitely want to let that get a little bit closer and then go ahead and freeze him. Because damn, that card is so annoying. Hopefully this will be fine. Mm, I'm going to have to do this. I hate it, but it is what it is. Go ahead and poison this. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Jeez, this is a uh, freaking nail biter, isn't it? Alright, come on, come on. Kill this guy. Oh, oh, oh. I definitely need a. I feel like I'm gonna have to do this. I'm not in love with it, but it is what it is. Pull these, kill them. Okay, okay. He doesn't have any more spells. So this should work. Should be able to get it off. Hopefully. Okay, perfect. I'm just going to play this behind him. Play this in front. Go ahead and poison him. Freeze that guy. I can get the kill. Should be able to take them both out with that. Perfect. Blaze these guys up. Oh, I need another card. I definitely need another card. Okay. Right now we're winning. Yes! Dang. That was super hard. Okay, well, you see how the game can play out. And I don't know exactly what level he was, but you can actually see the replay and see everything. So let's just kind of go to his deck. You can kind of tell what, le what level their leader is based on like the abilities. So this, it goes forward and back. Well, this, yeah, so he's at least level four. We know he's not level six. But, yeah, you get the gist of the game. It's pretty fun. I enjoy it a lot. I'm going to upload this video. Hopefully it has sound. Anyways, you guys take it easy. Peace.